Hello, welcome to the first application handling the exceptions using try, catch, finally blocks. First, we add to the form from the toolbox four labels. We search for label. We copy the first label, paste. We have four labels. Then we need three text box controls. One, two, and three. And the combo box. Combo box. We adjust. and also we need a button then we want to set the names first label we go to the properties text instead of label 1 name the second is code the third gender and the fourth is note also the text box we want to change the name first is TB for text box name the second TB code the third CB from a combo box gender and the fourth TB note and the button we go to the text test errors we also want to add from the toolbox a context menu strip we click on the context menu strip and add two buttons inside first back color of the form and exit then we want to search for our error provider and also a color dialog then we press on the combo box gender go to the properties items collection and add two rows male and female we press ok after that we want to create a student class in order to filter the inputs with text in order to do that we go to the solution explorer on exception handling one we press right click of the mouse add new item then visual c sharp class and we give a name student dot c sharp and we add the class inside the student class first we create four variables public string name public int code public string gender and public int note then we create an default constructor public student we take the name of the class and here we want to set the default variables first this dot name equal null 
this dot code equal zero this dot gender equal null and this dot node equal zero then we want to create the constructor with four parameters public student first string n for name int c for code string g for gender and int nt for notes then set the names this dot name equal n this dot code equal c this dot gender equal g and this dot note equal nt then we set the properties for each of the variables declare we begin with code public int get code return this dot code and public void set code int value and this dot code equal value then we set the properties for public string name get return this dot name and set this dot name equal value exactly the same thing we do for gender gender and here this dot gender and this dot gender equal value and also for the note note this dot note and this dot note equal value and set the property to int then we go to the form we press the button one double click and we enter on the source code inside the button one click function we need to check if every text box control on the form is empty then we activate an error provider giving a error message to fill the empty space with string text or integer values then if textbox name dot text equal empty string then error provider one dot set error textbox name and the error enter your name else if textbox code dot text equal empty string error provider one dot set error textbox code and the string of error enter the code else if combo box gender dot text equal empty string then error provider one dot set error combo box gender and the string select the gender else if textbox note 
dot text equal empty string error provider one dot set error text box note and the string enter the note else if text box code dot text dot substring with two parameters start index of zero and the number of characters in the substring the length one equal string one and combo box gender dot text equal mail then error provider one set error text box code and the string error the code is not corresponding with the gender and error provider one dot set error combo box gender and the string the gender is not corresponding with the code the same will do for to substring and female else we will begin with a try block try the try block it contains the sequence of operations that generate exceptions we create an instance of the default constructor student s equal new student then we convert the text box inputs from the properties set inside the student class s dot name equal text box name dot text s dot set code convert to in 32 of text box code dot text then s dot gender equal combo box gender dot text s dot note equal convert to in 32 of text box note dot text in order to print a message we can print with the message box but we want to display it creating a special exception we create a public class special exception we inherit from application exception inside we create a public special exception method and a public special exception string message with a base message then inside the try block we print a message throwing the exception calling the name of our exception throw new special exception and the string student created with success then in the catch statement we treat all the exceptions that we need format exception and special exception and other exception as well on the input the data first catch 
format exception message box dot show error catch the format exception and exception dot message then catch special exception message box dot show exception dot message then in the finally block we clear all the error providers display finally error provider dot clear then we go to the form we press on the text box note we go to the events tab and search for validating and double click inside the text box note validating we begin with the try block and create a note test equal convert to in32 the text from the text box note then if note test less than 1 or note test greater than 10 we show a message message box dot show introduce the node between 1 and 10 error message box buttons dot ok cancel and message box icon dot warning then we set a catch for all exceptions with a message box dot show error entering the data fields error message box buttons dot ok cancel and message box icon dot error then we go to the form we press the context menu strip and double click on back color and also the exit button inside the back color button click first we create a color dialog instance color dialog dlg equal new color dialog then if dlg dot show dialog method equal dialog result dot ok then context menu strip one dot source control dot back color equal dlg dot color then inside the exit button click we simply say application dot exit 